thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to um, take a break from all the news and uh, share a very special recipe. And the recipe is Pan Sit Canton. It's very delicious and it is an iconic recipe from the Philippines. So let's get to the recipe. So for the pancit mix, so basically this is the stuff that is inside the noodles. So, so we'll go through what's mixed inside and then I will go through the pancit noodles. So I tend to like to cook them separately so everything cooks evenly. So for the pancit mix, four tablespoons canola oil. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my 14 inch dash in front of the camera here. So four tablespoons canola oil. One, two, three, four. One package of peeled shrimp. So this is my shrimp here. It's about a package. And it is already bought, peeled, and deveined. One half cup onion thin. So here you go. All right. One fourth cup carrots. So it's gonna take about one fourth cups of carrots from here. Okay. One half cup cabbage. So we have my cabbage here. Oops, that's just water. So I tend to like cabbage. So I'm just gonna actually put it on the side here about one fourth cup. We're gonna add that later because um, it only needs to be blanched. Okay. One teaspoon of garlic. Yummy. So this is the garlic. We add one teaspoon. Okay. One tablespoon oyster sauce. So one tablespoon oyster sauce. Okay. Get that out. <laughs> it's kind of thick there. Okay. And um, of course, I do not use patis in my stuff, so I'm going to put in one or two teaspoons of salt instead. So I'm going to start with one teaspoon. Hey, Mr. Audience, can you get me some salt, please? I have an audience. He's on the side here, and that is Mr. Kai looking for the salt for me. Thank you, bud. So one teaspoon of salt for now. Okay. So again, for the pancit mix, four tablespoons canola oil, one package of peeled shrimp, one half onion, one fourth cup carrots, one half cup cabbage that I'm gonna put in at the end, one teaspoon of garlic, and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. All right, so let's see, let's put this a little bit higher. We can get cooking a little bit better. All right, so this is again the pancit mix. This is what's gonna go with the pancit. So we are gonna do the noodles separately and I'll get that started really quick here. And I suppose if shrimp is not your thing, you can um, add some chicken instead, chicken chunks. All right, so I'm gonna let that kind of cook a little bit there. So the next thing is the noodles, yay. So eight ounces of pancit canton. So this is what I happen to have by Panama. Panama, Panama. I got this from the Filipino store and it's pancit canton. So eight ounces of that. One and one half cup pork. Water and pork. So this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me put in the pancit canton, the, one, the eight ounces of pancit canton. And then Kai, can you warm this one and one half cup up in the microwave for me of water? 
So it's one and one half cups of water for about a minute. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. So yes, it looks very easy to do, but for sure there is pre-preparation with um, cleaning the vegetables and you know opening the packages. So um, if you will be making this for your family, I would just say about an hour just to get it from beginning to end. Okay, so five warming up the water. So the next one is once he gets out the one and one half cup water, we have to disintegrate one of these. This is the secret to my concept. This is pork bouillon. And this is hard to find. You have to go to the Asian store for this one. Um, but I have cooked this over and over again. And using this as the soup base makes all the difference. So um, almost done there, Kai. So one cube of these pork bouillon. And this is one and one half, if you can turn, um, plug it in and turn it on son. This is the pork bouillon out of the package. This is one piece out of the package. And um, put it on medium. And one and one half cup. So you go ahead and dissolve it in the warm water there. And what I'm going to do is sometimes it needs a little bit of help to be dissolved in the water. So let's see how. Okay, so it's warm enough to stick your hand in. Kind of just, um, not too hot. Kind of just squeeze the pork billion to make it dissolve in the water. If you have time, if you don't have much time. But if you have time, you can make it, you can let it sit and try to do it on its own, but um, we are gonna try to speed this along. Okay, so it's getting kind of dissolved in there. So for sure, try to dissolve as much as you can. But I have the constant in the, in the skillet there. I'm gonna lower this down so I can tell it's cooking really well. going to go ahead and pour this in. All right. So I'm going to put the rest of the leftover bouillon that stayed behind in the cup. I'm just going to put it there. It's definitely going to mix well. You have to pay attention to it a little bit. So that's not the end of it. We have to put about four tablespoons canola oil because we do not want our consit to be dry consit. <laughs> I want to mix it. You could mix it a little bit, I guess. One, two, three, four. So about four tablespoons. Yes, that is not the healthiest, but um, you yield some health out of this, so right? So. So I put in the eight ounces of Ponset Canton, one and one half cup pork bouillon um, broth, three to uh, four tablespoons canola oil. All right. Okay, so my stir fry is coming along. I'm gonna show you the stir fry. That was what, about five minutes of the vegetable stir fry. And um, I'm just going to bring it here to the camera. Get a good close up. Excuse me, Kai. There you go. So it's coming along. So some other options that you can put in as vegetables is really thinly sliced celery. That's one option. Um, another optional um, protein you can put in is Chinese sausage chopped long. And that is delicious in this. I don't have any today though. So my vegetables today were carrots, some onions, and of course, some cabbage. Okay. Is it coming along? Coming along well. Okay, good job. So for
for the garnish is five to 10 boiled eggs. So what I have here is just some boiled eggs, just like that. And um, Kai would love to show you how to cut this. Let's see if we can make some room for him. Move this to the side. He has a cute little, you see it there in the corner? He has a cute little egg cutter. You might wanna, why don't you let me hold it down? Okay, and then go ahead and push it down. Ooh, that's so fun. And then go ahead and pick it up and show it to the camera. And then go over there on that side and then show how evenly cut it is to the camera. Up more, up more. There you go. Can you see? <laughs> okay, then push it to the side, like you know. Let me show you. My little cameraman is learning as we go along. So that little thing cut each one evenly like my spam cutter. Isn't that cute? Look, that's very nice. Thank you, Kai. You wanna do another one? Yeah. Okay, so keep doing it. And let me see, let me hold, pick it up. You can put it right here. You can see it in the camera. And then right, let me see. Right there. And I'll hold it down. Ooh, hot. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we have one more if you want to do the last one. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to add the cabbage. Last minute cabbage. And one more vegetable that definitely is optional, but we love this, is snow peas. Okay, snow peas. All right. So by judging all the vegetables that I have put in here thus far, I think I have to double the garlic and the oyster sauce just by looking at it and fortunately but unfortunately cooking is not a perfect you know recipe so i've been cooking it so long i just already know i have to double it so it's going to be um, another half cup of onion okay so another half cup of onion another one fourth cup of carrot it's just a little bit more cabbage. So it was more about doubling the garlic. So another garlic, another one teaspoon of garlic, and another one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Okay, Kai, you mixing that around for me? Yeah. All right. So the noodles that Kai is doing there, so you can do it too. The noodle pies is mixing there, I would say it takes about maybe seven minutes. So, just by kind of looking at it right now, I'm going to be doing a taste test soon. Okay, let me put it more over here, Kai. You okay? Mm hmm Okay, she's having fun mixing those. And I'm having fun mixing this. <laughs> so the nice thing about Kanset is that um, my favorite part is actually the stir fry and shrimp. And the noodles is a plus plus, but it is truly the noodle that is the most popular thing. Okay, so we are 15 minutes into the video. So let me check out a noodle. So this, that's been cooking about seven minutes. So <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna do this off the camera. Okay, almost done with the noodle. That's very, very nice. Taste turned out very nice in that. So that was eight ounces of pancit canton. 
three to four tablespoons canola oil. So that one I actually put in four tablespoons and it turned out okay. And um, one and one half cup pork bouillon broth. So what makes it the pork bouillon broth is this right here. Only can be found at Asian markets, okay? All right, so I would say these vegetables are done. I'm just gonna turn it off here. Let me taste one more before I mix it in. Oh yeah. Go ahead and turn it off then. Okay, so let me bring some vegetables to you just so you can get a feel up to uh, the mix. just a cooking video it doesn't really tell you how I feel inside I think I've mentioned before that I am a frontline healthcare worker but this is my pastime this is what I love to do when I'm not working just be with the kids and cook okay so let me get you close up here so this is the pancit mix so like I said I love to cook it separately okay and it had blended really well. So remember what I did is I started off with one serving, but then what I ended up doing is doing the recipe twice and adding double the garlic and double the oyster sauce. And let me taste it behind the camera here. Very, very good. All right, so. In a nutshell, for the pancit mix, four tablespoons canola oil, one package peeled shrimp, one half cup onion, one fourth cup carrots, one half cup cabbage, one teaspoon garlic, and one tablespoon oyster sauce. So what I did is I added um, these uh, green peas, and um, I just what I did is add in green peas what you saw me add, and I added a little bit more garlic, so I did double the garlic, so I did two teaspoons garlic, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, threw in a little bit more carrots, threw in a little bit more cabbage, and a little bit more onions, so more like one half cup more onions. So if you got double the vegetables, basically double up the onion, the garlic, and the oyster sauce, okay? So here it goes. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the mix here. All right. So I'm gonna move everything. Get a good look at it. There you go. So I love chunky pancit. Meaning. I'm all about the mix, not just the noodles, but yes, the noodles are just as delicious. So you can see right there how it mixes really, really well. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the plate for you to see. Okay, so 19 minutes. Don't worry, my friends, we're almost done. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the garnish because Kai worked so hard to cut those eggs. Right, Kai? Yeah. <laughs> but those eggs, the perfect boiled egg is once the, the pot starts boiling, the water, then you time it at seven minutes at medium. Seven minutes at medium and you will get the perfect boiled egg. All right. Okay. So remember those little things that Clyde made for us? The little eggs that he cut up? I'm just going to go ahead and decorate. Okay. 
Okay, doesn't that look delicious? That is the true Pansi Canton. Iconic recipe of the Philippines. Don't be intimidated by the recipe. You just need a little bit help here and there to get it coming along. All right, well, once again, thank you for tuning in and checking this out. I hope that one day you try to make this and I hope that I explained it well. And um, don't forget to subscribe to Lady Shake and Bake on YouTube and I wish you all good health. Take care.